Hi, this is Paul Beckman with DSP Concepts. We're a third party that worked with ARM on the development of the Simsys DSP library. I'm going to be taking you through an FIR filter example that's included with the library. I'm going to start out and open the main help file for the library, index.html. Comes up with the main page. Let's look over the module section. You can see all the different functions that ship with the library, organized by category. And I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here and we're going to look at this FIR low pass filter example. Help documentation gives you an overview of what the, what the example does. Uh, basically, we're going to take data that's been generated in MATLAB, pass it through the FIR filter processing function, and then we're going to compare the output of the filter with data generated by MATLAB. So we're going to be testing out two functions. Uh, we're using the floating point FIR filter function, so we're doing the initialization function and the processing function scrolling down. This is what the filter looks like. It's a 29 point FIR filter. See uh, time domain response. And in the frequency domain you can see this is clearly a low pass filter. Okay, It passes low frequencies and attenuates high frequencies. Cutoff frequency of the filter is 6 kilohertz. It corresponds to this point right here where the filter has a magnitude of 0.5. Here are the input and output signals. Uh, input signal in the time domain it's a sum of a 1 kilohertz and a 15 kilohertz sine wave. You can see that the two frequency components in the frequency domain. And after filtering, all that remains is the 1 kilohertz sine wave. The 15 kilohertz component has been filtered off. Okay, I'm going to switch over now and open up the project for this example. Find it under examples, arm, FIR, LPF example. And we open the project file here. This launches MDK. Uh, this file contains starts out with a number of definitions that control the test. We also have uh, references to, to two externally defined uh, arrays. First one is this is the input data, and the second one is this is the correct output data. Both of these are generated by MATLAB and are held in this other RMFIR LPF data.c file. Here we have the input data, and down here we have the correct output or the reference output data. We define a buffer. This is going to hold the output that's computed by the Simsys library. We have uh, the state variable buffer for the FIR filter. We have the coefficients for the FIR filter. These were computed in MATLAB and copy and paste it in here. And then down here, first thing we do is we get pointers to where the input data is read from, where the output data should be written to. We initialize the FIR filter structure. So S is referred to as the instance structure for the FIR filter. Uh, every unique FIR filter in the system has to have its own separate instance structure. Instance structure basically is an encapsulation of all the information needed by the filter for doing the processing. Okay, We basically initialize the length of the filter, give it a pointer to the coefficients, pointer to the state variables, and we also give it a block size, how many samples will be processed per call to the function. Next, we loop over and we process each block at a time. Each call here processes 32 samples at a time. Where's the input taken from? From input F32, and then we advance by 32 samples each block. Write the output data here, and then we also process block size samples through it. So we loop here 10 times. And finally, we compare the generated output with the reference output from MATLAB. And this gives us a number SNR, which is like a signal-to-noise ratio. So if the signal-to-noise ratio is below a threshold, we've failed the test. Otherwise, we've passed the test. And finally here, if we've failed the test, we loop here. So if you make it to the end here, we've successfully uh, executed. Let me go ahead and build the project. I'm going to rebuild all the target files. That completed without issue. Let me start the debugger. I'm running in the evaluation version of MDK, and the Simpsys DSP library examples fit within the 32K code size limit. I'm up and running. I'm going to run to the first breakpoint. So we're right about to process the first block of data, and I have a watch window open here that's showing the test output array. This is where the processing function writes its data. It starts out as all zeros, and when I process the first block, you see we generate 32 samples process the next block, and so forth. This happens 10 times. Run to the next breakpoint. 
compute the signal and noise. Let me see what we got here. The threshold is 140. We have 142. So we have passed the signal and noise test. Therefore, the generated output matches the reference output from MATLAB. Let's take this a step further and go ahead into MATLAB. And I have a script file here that uh, simulates the same thing in MATLAB. A couple parts here. One, we basically define some of the parameters for the simulation. What's the sample rate? How lo long it should be in terms of number of points? We compute the input vector. So it's a sum of uh, 1 kilohertz sine wave and 15 kilohertz sine wave. Next thing we do here is we compute the FIR filter. This is the, the built-in FIR filter design function in MATLAB that uses windowing. The order of the filter is 28. This gives us a 29-point filter. And this is the cutoff frequency in terms of normalized units. Uh, if we want a 6 kilohertz filter with a Nyquist frequency of 24 kilohertz, normalized frequency of 0.25, and then we go ahead and we do the, the actual filtering here. And if I run this example, it runs very quickly, and if we look at the first eight outputs, if we switch over to MDK, you'll see that these first eight outputs match the results generated right here in MDK. These are the first eight output vectors. So we have good agreement here between the SIMSYS DSP library function and MATLAB. So it verifies that the SIMSYS FIR filter function is working correctly. This concludes the example. Feel free to download and install the SIMSYS DSP library. It ships with many other examples that highlight different features of the library. Thank you for your attention.